guys, it's Arthur from the Vault Pro Scooters, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install pegs. The tools you'll need will be a hammer, 13mm wrench, a ratchet, 13mm socket, 10mm socket, your peg set, as well as the Allen keys 4, 5, and 6 metric. First off, remove the stock axle. The axle I have is a 4mm Allen on one side and a 10mm socket on the other. Attach the socket. Make sure it's reversed to remove it. Start loosening it all up. Remove the nut. Save the washer. Hit the axle out. Making sure to keep the wheel and the fork. Attach the, the washer and the nut to the stock axle. Making sure everything's intact. Save it. Next, you'll need the short axle replacement axle. Remove the lock nut. Slide in the wheel. Insert the axle through the opposite end of the side that your pegs will be sitting on. Grab your peg. Insert the lock nut. Wedge the lock nut with your finger and hand tighten the front end. Then you'll attach your 13 millimeter socket. Grab your six millimeter Allen. Tighten everything up. Just double check and make sure it's all fastened right. Wheels spin perfect. Now on to the back end. So you'll need to remove the back axle I'm using a five millimeter on one side. You may need to use another five millimeter on the other side, depending on the axle you have. Remove the axle. A good trick is to slide the Allen key through to push out the axle, but keep it in there so it can hold the wheel and back spacer. Put your axle together, your rear axle, make, making sure to save it. Yes, showing it again. Grab your rear axle, remove the lock nut and spacer. Insert the axle through the opposite end of where your peg will sit. Insert your rear peg spacer. Grab your peg. Insert the lock nut into the peg. Wedge it with your finger. Hand tighten it. Grab your 13 millimeter ratchet and socket. Insert it into the peg. See your six millimeter on the other end and tighten everything up. Make sure it's nice and tight. Wheel spin perfect. And there you have it. That's all folks.